want to serve. So what we want to start on today. A mind to serve. A mind to serve. That's a series we're starting on today. A mind to serve. Amen. Love it in about three, four parts. Today I want to look at the priority and privilege of service. The priority and privilege of service. Isaiah 43, verse 21. Isaiah 43, verse 21. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your word. Jeremiah said your word was found and I ate them. And your word became to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. These people have I formed for myself. The Lord says, these people are formed for myself. Talking about Israel, you know that we are the Israel of God. Now we've been grafted in, all right? I hope you know that. That you're a Jew. All right? It's not a Jew who is one outwardly, but one who is one inside. Right? I'm a Jew. Black as I am. If this is black, I don't know. I'm a Jew. Because I'm of the seed of Abraham. I'm blessed with Abraham. His blessing has come to me. I'm blessed. And so are you. You know, you need to keep saying, you need to verbalize what you believe. I'll go back to this in a minute. All right? If you're going to continue in this fellowship, I'll teach you to be verbalizing what you've believed. All right? As you step into your house, speak. As you step into your business, speak. As you look at your children, speak. As you look at your business, speak. As you look at your marriage, speak. Don't be silent. It was darkness until the Lord spoke. Speak. So I'm blessed. You are blessed. It's not a function of what you have. Stop looking at what you... He whom you have. And you start believing. Or the account... Now, who will you believe? Will you believe the account? Or will you believe the Lord? Who has called you, who called you out of darkness. He says, These people have I formed for myself. Hey, just think about that. That he has formed you for himself. Ooh. Sing praises to his name. That he has formed me. For himself. 
he will suspend suspended the earth on nothing when I was young I told you I used to go for Jesus and watch and there will be the horizon so I used to think when you get there maybe you drop because say the world is the earth is circular so you might drop when you get there Or we might drop off the surface. But God. Who has made this. To form it before himself. So he says this people have formed for myself. They will show forth my glory. teach today, not to teach, not preach, teach. The word show forth or declare in Hebrew is called sofa, S-A-P-H-A-R, but it's read as sofa, S-A-W-F-A-R. It means to relate or recount and is often used to refer to the communication of important information and truths to foreign nations. This is a message then that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. And he has given us a ministry of reconciliation. That men may look at us and be reconciled. That we can communicate important information about God. Truths about God. For us it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. That through us as a look at you. We had a funeral of the mother. The burial of the mother of one of us here. On Friday. And one of the sons was saying, it was boring. I can't understand how somebody can be that straight consistently. It's a mystery of godliness. That while the earth, the people of the world are this way and that way and this way. That us, in the midst, somebody said the mystery of God is that he will pick an, an unholy man. Make him holy. Alright? Pick him out of the world. Make him holy. And keeping him that holy in that same unholy world. That is a keeper of Israel. To him now that is able to keep you from falling. So don't make excuses. He's able to keep. Watch I could do. Ninina my excuses one. Ma niliona na si sikuweza sikuweza kujizuia. No, in you the Bible says them that have received abundance of grace. There's an abundance of grace available to you. It's just you who doesn't want to appropriate the grace that has been availed to you. So don't say he's not able to keep. Saying he's able to save to the uttermost. There's some important communication truths that are supposed to be seen by the foreign nations. It says, even as we were once foreigners and strangers to the commonwealth of Israel, but now as we are far have been made nigh by the blood of Jesus. information is supposed to communicate to them. Your life is supposed to communicate to them. Don't come communicate to us here. We are in the same kingdom with you. Communicate them out there. We are all of the light. And those who are not of the light, there's an opportunity. 
you can, you can become of the light. There's blood to cleanse. All right? First Peter 1 9. We're talking about a mind to serve. Just building up. It says we are a chosen generation, isn't it? That he chose us. He's a chooser. Some of us think we chose him. <laughs> Even when you draw near, it's him drawing you. Say, I'm so prayerful. Yes, I know there's discipline. But unless he works in you, there's nothing in you that desires God. Man is born inclined towards evil. So it says, chosen you. John 15, 16 says, you did not choose me. I chose you. Tell your neighbor, I'm chosen. Nimechaguliwa. Select, elect. Colossians 1 3 says, He delivered us out of the dominion, the bondage of darkness, qualified us, transferred us into the kingdom of His Son. Amen. Ephesians 2 verse 10. We are his workmanship. I don't know if that's what it says in Swahili. In a semanin kwa Swahili. It's correct. Sante uh, sana. Sisi ni kazi ya mikono yake. Kwa sababu bwana ni mfinyanzi. He is a porter. He has made us. He fashioned us. Shaped us. Formed. Where is that scripture? Isaiah 23. 43 verse 21. Formed. First Corinthians 6. No, Psalm 100 verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. I didn't make myself. I didn't call myself. I was sold to bondage to sin. But he broke the dominion of sin over my life, transferred me. Into the kingdom of his dear son. Made me a heir. A joint heir with his son. Made me to sit. Among princes. God who picks. Picks people. From the dam. From the messes of sin. Some of us, maybe you grew up in church. You've been in church all along. Some of us are picked from the darkness. Danny. Steeped in darkness. But when the, when the grace of God that brings salvation appeared. Darkness could not hold. I told you I used to go to hang club somewhere in college and, and uh, thank God for praying mothers thank God for praying mothers mothers who know how to lay hold on God told me to go to the CU I said thank you at long last now I have my freedom I have my own space I'll go do as I want 
So I'll go hang. I'll go hang out. Do all that. But there was a mother. Oh! There was a mother. I used to pray in some strange language. I said, Mama, keep quiet. I'm here with my friend Dolo. We are hanging out and bobbing our heads to, to pack Shakur and this other me against the world and stuff like that. But there was a mother who knew how to lay hold on God. Say, my seed shall serve the Lord. And pretty soon, the music out there started. I would go there and by one, when it should be catching on, say, no, I want to go back to college. I want to go back to college. Say, what? Man, are you a sissy or something? Why are you going back to college? But there was a calling. There was a hand. There was a working. There was a summoning. By the God of all the earth, darkness could not hold. You need to know who goes with you. You need to know him who has taken residence in you. In 1995, no preaching, nothing. Gave my life to the Lord in my room with a brother, Fred. Say, please come. I want to give my life to Jesus. Some of you and people say, well, I want to give their life. Stop preaching. Lead them to the Lord. Came to Jesus. Mama didn't live longer after that. But, oh, she's speaking right here. She's speaking through this boy. That my seed shall serve the Lord. The generation of the upright shall be mighty in the land. Says children are a reward from God. Blessed is he who has his quiver full of them, for they shall speak with the enemies at the gate. That's what I'm doing today. Never thought I would serve the Lord. So he picked us. Said, These people have I formed for myself. Okay, let's go on. The master designer. God is a designer. I told you, for some of you, you know, now this is a lot of professions. Others are saying we are creatives. God was a master creative before you showed up. Eh? Say, I'm a creative, I'm a creative. <laughs> and you feel you're so deep. Eh? That is a stuff. I'm a sociopreneur. Hey. Man, you guys will kill you with words. I'm a sociopreneur. Say, say what? I'm a creative. The master designer. God is a designer. God is a designer. There's a pattern. He doesn't just do things aimlessly. Hmm? God is not. And my laws are like it. They just go sign your stuff. Something has come out. No offense to those who like the food. I get to eat it. Sometimes, <laughs> God has, God has a design. I'm not saying he doesn't have a design. It's just some interesting design. God has a, is a master designer. He says we his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to good works which he has before ordained that we may walk in them. So this business of I'm finding my purpose. Um, guys are making a lot of money and I'm a coach. 
guys are making a lot of money. Helping people find their purpose. Hmm? Helping people find their purpose. While the light, the way has been waiting for you to come back into the good works that he has before ordained. It's like a fridge today after it has been made. Say, you know what? I feel like I want to be a motor car. I feel like I want to be a cupboard. I feel like Say, no, my orientation is different. I feel like. It's an insult to the intelligence, the wisdom of the designer. When the phone says it feels like, you know what? I think he will put me together. The Samsung fellas didn't know what they were doing. I feel like being what? What? I feel like being a bottle. Hey, that's extreme, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but so are human beings. The designer says, I formed you. Know ye that the Lord is God. He's a creator of the ends of the earth. I formed you for myself. That you may so forth, communicate truths, communicate information, coded information that is hid from the rest of the world. But that's why he's given us of his spirit so that we may know the things that are freely given us of God. Amen. If your neighbor is sleeping, pinch them. Give you authority. <laughs> you might just be like Eutychus. This is the presence of God. You need to be a lot. Amen. I'm not in charge. Amen. So the Lord says, I'm the master, I've formed you. God starts with the end in mind. The guys who formulated this thing, and I love the creatives. They look at human society, they look at what is happening, they see the gaps, and they go to work, and they come up with a nap. All right? Makes your life easy. You're laughing all the way to the bank. Okay? So God formed these people for himself. They shall show forth his praise, his tehila, his laudation, his praise, his renown, his fame. He calls out of darkness into his marvelous light that we may show forth his praise. So the, the light is his. The kingdom is his. Calls me in. Say so you are bought with a price. 1 Corinthians 6.20 Therefore glorify God in your body. Please just help me with the sound. There's a lot of echo. Therefore, glorify God in your body. You are redeemed. Not with priceless things, with corruptible things, but by the precious blood of Jesus. It says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let their lives say so. Let their lives say that God is merciful. God is able to save. That if he can save a wretch like me, a wicked man like me, let them see that God 
takes pleasure in mercy. Those who are in the world, still not born again. They are citizens who lost their passports. We are supposed to point them back home. And I say, behold you. I say, wow. I say, behold you. I say, I want that. So, they're supposed to grow. It says grow in grace and in the knowledge of God. To grow. It says a righteous man falling before the wicked is like a fountain that is polluted. You running the same way the wicked are running is like a fountain that is polluted. It's not sending the message that you're supposed to send. Cutting corners like the wicked. It's a sad day when there's no difference between darkness and light. Luke 22. Let's go on now. Jesus. Luke 22, verse 25. Luke 22, 25 to 27. And he said to them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. All right? Next verse. Next verse. But it shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief, as he that doth serve. Verse 27. But he shall not, for whether it's greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth. Is it not he that sitteth at meat, he who sits at the table, who is eating, who is dining, but he says, but I'm among you as one that serves. But I'm among you as one that serves. A mind to serve. We'll come back to that. Acts 13, 36. Acts 13, 36. Thank you. For David, after he had served his own generation, not robbed his own generation, after he had served his own generation, served his own generation, but we're still talking about him in our generation. Still communicating to us important information, truths about God. The Bible says, Abel, even though he sleeps, yet he speaks. The funeral of that mama, great woman of God, who was struggling to find space to say the things, how she has walked with God. I don't know about you when it's your time. Because it's appointed for men to live and after that to judgment and die. What will he say about you? I'm among you. Says he fell asleep after he had served. Let's go to Mark 10, 35. So where we start. The privilege, the priority of service. Mark 10, 35, thank you. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come to him saying, Master, 
we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Don't you find that statement interesting? Huh? You started by saying, these people have I formed for? Speak to me. That's the Lord speaking. They shall show forth my praise. Now these two apostles, these two apostles come in. They say, Master, They acknowledge his place as the Lord. Say, Master, Adonai, owner, possessor, we would that you do for us as we desire. Hey. Moses told them, you sons of Korah, you take too much on yourself. Some of us take too much on ourselves. Master, go to your boss and you say, Boss, I would that you do to me whatsoever, for me whatsoever I desire. Let's go try that tomorrow if you're employed somewhere. Say, Whatsoever I desire. You know, if that sets the relationship, the dynamic, Master. Now, that word master should tell you how to approach. The Bible says, let us have grace that we may know how to serve God acceptably. For our God is a consuming fire. Nadab and Abihu, priests, they offer strange fire before God which he had not authorized. And they got a feel of what a burnt offering, the ones they've been offering. It looks like fire came out from the presence. You, you know, the challenge in our day is that we get so comfortable and so familiar with God that the reverence, the reverence that is due Him, is most of the time slacking when we come to Him. For some of us, it's like God is our age mate. And some songs are sponsoring it. I am a friend of God. Is that scripture? Is that scripture? Yeah? He calls me friend. Where, where did God call you friend? Oh, let's talk now. Yeah? Say, shall I have this from Abraham, my friend? He called Abraham my friend. But you, where did he call you friend? And we dance and we, I am a friend. He calls me friend. The reverence that is due him. Say, I sing praises to your name. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. This is not like any other name. Say, Master, how would that you do for us whatsoever we desire? So who is a servant and who is a master? And you know, sometimes we read even scripture wrong. It says, no, it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Invest a bit in your study of scripture. Don't just have a Bible. All right? The exceeding great and precious promises laid up for you. You need to mine it. This time Boaz sent me something. He said, the Bible is written by men who were tearful. It will not open its treasures to men who are just reading it casually. All right. So he says, Master, 
Master, we would that you do for us whatsoever we desire. So he says, delight yourself in the Lord. That word delight, the word delight, I think it means in the Hebrew, not trying to be deep, just getting us to understand. But it's all right if you so feel. It means it's didakos, D-I-D-A-K-O-S. You don't need to remember that. It doesn't help much. It means to be soft, to be pliable, to be flexible in his hands. Say the children, O house of Israel, can you not be to me as the clay is in the hands of the porter? Can you not be pliable in my hands? I'm the creator. I'm the one who made you. I'm the one who fashioned you. I've got a design. Can you not be flexible? That's delighting. Delighting is not coming for, for service on Sunday. We are glad you came and keep coming. Invite somebody as you come. But delighting yourself is being flexible in his hand. I am for the master's use. I am for the master's use. I'm flexible in his hand. Some of us love our sleep so much even when he's waking us up to pray. We don't. I'm going to say, cast that devil. The Lord gives his beloved sleep. Some of us love ourselves so much. Even when we are fasting and praying, can't keep away from food. Even when your destiny depends on it. Some of us are given to appetite. Ooh. Jobless. Family going through stuff. We are calling a fast. Call him a solemn assembly. Asking you to show up and let's pray together. Let's strive together in prayer. And you're all, you're all over town doing the same things you've been doing. Here can Emmanuel at a fast. Pastor Emmanuel, Pastor Ben. And your life never attains to the place where you can start communicating clearly important information about the kingdom. It says if I cast out the devils by the finger of God, it means the kingdom of God has come to you. We're supposed to communicate our lives. It says we are living epistles. Read by all men. They're supposed to read this life. Oh, supposed to read. When they read, what, what do they? What do they read? When they read you. Avelo na soma gazeti na bidi. Zile hadi umepewa. Zile kubwa kubwa husomi. Gazeti unasoma kwa bidi. Habari katika runinga unashika kwa bidi. Maombi haushiki. Neno haushiki. The master has need of this vessel. Their lives that need to be touched. Their destinies that need to be brought back into alignment with the purposes of the creator. Of the ends of the earth. And it depends on you. And look at the way you are showing up. Change course. Change course. A wise man. A wise man sees evil. I want when I get to the end of my life, when my time comes, I give up the ghost. When the, if I go before you, you will not have to struggle to find things to say about this man that lies here. Here lies a man who walked with God. 
Eli is a man who availed himself to be mightily used of God in his generation. That hell will breathe few unless a guy has gone. So they say, Master, you know, we have a lot of the gospel nowadays of felt needs. It stopped being about Christ and his purposes. Stop being about God and his pleasure. Nowadays, when you look for a church, you look for a church that is me-centered. How does a church serve me? How does it serve my family? How does it serve my... Huh? Master! The master has called us. There are lines that have already been drawn. I told Jeremiah, before you are formed, I knew you. I ordained you. I put a track for you. I channeled resources towards you becoming that. So that you not be a nobody in, on the face of the earth. That you represent me. Show forth my praise. That people look at you and say, this one, how could this one become so prominent? And that's why I was saying last Sunday, I'm trusting God that he will raise people in this place. Some who, did, who didn't look like they have it together. Is an encounter, encounter with God. The blesser of men. So, Lord, change my story, change my end. Let me not cause pain. God is able to make all grace abound. Amen. So when he says, delight yourself in the Lord, just keep it there. It's not about you. This thing stopped being about you the day you got born again. It stopped being about you. When you're still out there in the world, it was about you. And your desires and your wishes. So he says, you are not redeemed from your vain conversation. It's a, it was a vain way of life. And people think they are having the time of their lives. But it's vain. Ure kabisa. That's what my brother here is saying. Not me. It's in my life. It says, Master, what would that you do for us? A mind to serve. He says, I am among you as one who serves. I am among you as one who serves. I am among you as one who serves. He says, it is enough for the servant to be like his master. I am among you as one who serves. He says, let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus. Even though he was God, he took it not as something to be held. Some of us are so full of ourselves. Hmm? You squeeze in the corner, guy, but. Eh? Would you? You squeeze in the corner, Kazi. As if you are the first one to work since the human race started. I don't need to know. That you can keep a small head even when the Lord exalts you. You can keep a small head and know that you are among your people as one who serves. Great people serve. Some of us come here as bosses you want to be served. So you complain. Instead of complaining, why don't you show up early next time? 
Say that thing that I didn't, I didn't like, I'll be part of the solution. That's how the world works. They don't like this. I don't like waiting a lot in, in the line at the airport. So let me find a way of developing an app that people can check in or book. Like there before, when I used to use Coast Bus and the other buses, I had to go all the way down to Nyamakima to go book a ticket. You call the alliance, they were constantly not working. Somebody looked at it and said, no, there's a better way to serve. And today, every one of them, even the shuttles, even the ones that have just come, yeah, can book from Karumaindo, wherever I am. As long as it's connectivity. The world looks for ways to serve. And we are paying them lots of money. I say find ways of serving you. Making your life comfortable. As master you do for us whatsoever we desire. It says for me to live is Christ. What's the time for? Well, I need to finish for me to live is Christ. What happened to that? That today you come in and master, I hope that you do for me whatsoever I desire. Leave alone your plan. Leave alone your preordained stuff. I've showed up now. Hmm? James and Zebedee, the apostles of our time. Emmanuel, the worship leader of our time showed up. Just giving an example. This is a great brother. Says, I've showed up. Lord, I would that you do for me whatsoever I desire. <laughs> Ooh. Called you to serve his purposes. Today you want, we want a God made after our own image. A God who serves our purposes in our generation. He told Malachi, if I'm a father, where is my own? Malachi 1 verse 5. If I'm a master, where is my fear? Man, it's just that we don't know him as we should. The Hebrews had a name, Yahweh. It was so terrible, so awesome, they were afraid even to pronounce it. They were afraid even to pronounce the name. will encounter God here, this sanctuary, this place. You realize God, my friend, hey, remains small. Bwana naeza kukuzimia stima, likwambia, with your exaltedness, if that is a word, the Lord can <laughs> the Lord can dial you down. Until you get he told Nebuchadnezzar, you'll be driven out to the wilderness that you may eat grass like the goats, like the animals, and until you acknowledge that the Most High rules in the kingdom of man. The Most High is a ruler. It says, if I'm a father, if I'm a king, where is the honor due to me? 
that you come to serve him anyhow. Hmm? Can we talk? Can we talk? If I'm a father, where is the honor due to me? If I'm a king, I'm a master. I deny the honor, the possessor, the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. If I am, where is my honor? There was once a man, as we told about Maurice Sarulo, he came in one time for a conference here and just arrives from, I think he was coming from South America, comes in in a jeans, t-shirt, cape, and the guy had just been bubbling uh, through the flight. Arrives and finds bishops gathered in the room waiting for him. Guys who love sitting allowances. I'll tell you some stuff that is happening out here. Okay, maybe not all of them. But <laughs> when the man got into the room, none of the bishops could stand. They were all down. They came into the meeting almost an hour after the meeting had started. Just a man who walks with God. A man who knows how to lay hold on God. A man whose life is submitted to God. I'm just trying to say the dimensions of God. Don't joke. The dimensions of God. This is not a, your age mate you're coming to. This is not a schoolboy you're coming to. Serving him anyhow. Huh? You're ushering or you're in the praise team. Unakimbia, saine, imefika. Watu wakuapa maombi kwanzia satatu. Wanajinoa, wanajitarisha. What are vessels? What are vessels? Viombo. Why viombo vinaeza kutumika mbele ya Bwana kuabudu na kuongoza wengine katika ibada. Wewe oh, unakuja saa 4 mbio mbio. Ni nini? Ni usingizi. As if you're coming to serve pastor. If you're coming to serve me please stop. David served the purposes of God in his generation. Served the purposes of his creator, of his maker, not the purposes of the pastor. If you're coming to serve the pastor, please stop. We have released you from service. Stay if you must. I'm equally serving. I'm equally a man and authority. Don't cause me trouble. I'm not going to make a pastor. Says I am of your brethren, which have the testimony of Christ. I appreciate honor. I appreciate respect, but says these ones gave themselves not as we expected. But they first gave themselves to the master, to the Lord, then to us by the will of God. They first recognize master. When you say master, it comes with submission. Your agenda ends at that point. I'm available. What would you have me do today? That's why we don't see things. Lord, I'm going back to that bank. What would you have me to do today? May you show for through this life. Communicate some important information through this life.
communicate truths through this life. I'm going into that workshop. As I work on the stuff, I'm going into that job. As I work there, Lord, use this vessel to communicate truths about yourself. The Bible says there's a veil. They are blinded. The God of this world has blinded them that believe not. But you, when you show up, you're showing up to the master. I would that you do for me whatsoever I desire. So I sat on the throne. The master was removed from the throne. Now the master is supposed to serve you. No. I will straighten it here. If you don't like it that way, please, the many churches, you're welcome to explore. But here, we lay it as it needs to be laid. God is not a... He's a God who demands submission. He's a God who demands service. Master. Show him. It's a privilege to serve. It's an honor to serve. That he took me out of darkness. Cleaned me up. Put his spirit in me. Put his anointing on my life. Sealed me. And sent me back into the same place. That I may communicate to them. That there is light that has arisen. In the midst of darkness. They don't need to remain in bondage anymore. But that won't happen with us kind of statements. We are here as people who serve. How can I serve? How can I help you? A lot of companies have that. Hey, how you call? This is so and so. How may I help? How may I be of service? How may I serve? says it is enough that the servant be like the master. The wanted position. There are no positions to dish out here. Please, if you're looking for positions, wrong address. Please keep looking. You may not find it here. Give us that we may sit one on your right and on your left. Then what? Give me that amaze when I sing. People are healed. Then what? So that we can know that you are anointed. It says he searches the motives of the heart. He gives the gifts for the profiting, the benefit of all. The gifting that I have, the singing that I have, the talent that I have, he's given it for the profiting of all. It's not for my exaltation. You can say, hey, pastor is such a great preacher. No. If I'm a great preacher, then what? If it doesn't help you to serve the purposes of the master, When they showed up, he says, welcome, thou good and faithful servant. Not thou good and great preacher. No. Not thou good and great singer. No. Thou good and faithful servant. Served my purposes. In him, he says, this is my beloved son. In him I'm well pleased. That the Lord may speak from the Glorious heavens. And say this is my beloved son. In him I am well pleased. He has a heart. After my own heart. Wants to serve his generation. Wants to serve. His own generation. Not to rob it. His generation. Amen.
stop there. It's a privilege to serve. Amen. It's an honor to serve. I say it again. Great people look for opportunities to serve. How may I serve you? How may I serve you? The guys who like sitting at the big tables waiting to be served. Great people. Serve. How may I serve? Pastor, I can see there are things happening here. How may I serve? I can see this need in protocol. I can see we can do this better. How may I serve? A mind to serve.